All right, we need to get some of these for the lake trout for Sebago this weekend. We need some crappie max sheds. We're looking for some uh, tungsten tube heads to go with some white tubes. And Alrighty. We're gonna use that to jig up some lakers. All right, Riley. Do you think we should get some of these? For that is six ninety nine, and it looks like a dog poop. Fish time, my friends. So right, we're jigging, set up we on the good hole. We just showed up to the new spot. This is the hole where I caught that rainbow out of. We, I just got bit a few times, so we should have some good relative luck. But. Oh yeah. I just got bit really. You did? Yeah. Oh. Hey. Let's go, first fish Whoa. of the day. It's a little slime rocket. Oh, it's a little slime rocket. Let's go. Let's go. Finally got off the skunk. We haven't caught a oh, fish yeah. in what? Four hours. Oh yeah. There you go, little slime. Show that out. fish off the camera. It's not much to show off, but no. Nope. It's a fish, nonetheless. It's a fish. Oh, oh come on, buddy. Gotta send her home. Cusk here dried out, brought from the depths of Squidic Lake, partly freeze dried, but it's time to get some good food. Now it looks like this is a little bit bony, so you just kind of rip it off. But then once you got that, we're gonna put it into the Frank's Red Hot. Um, yeah, my cuts are gonna feel the same way, so I just wanna send it in there. Because, you know, if your eyes aren't watering, then it's not enough Red Hot. So you really wanna just put it all in there. Soak it all. And um, just keep it in. This is going to be a really good recipe. Okay, let's see. Stand by for when I get my hand with cuts on it in there. Then we're going to just throw it. Everything nice and covered, you see? Yes. So, time for the next step. So, you've got your beautiful fish coated in the flour. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the fish and dip it in the egg and completely soak it in the egg. Then right here we're going to take our bag of flour. This is not flour. Please don't get mad. But it is breadcrumbs. We're going to soak it in the breadcrumbs, completely coat it. Right there you got your perfect little piece of fish all ready for the fryer later. So now we'll put it in the fryer later. Oil's so hot it'll hurt you. I'm a big believer in that you always have to start somewhere in the day. Whether it be with a little guy like this,